College students in part of Columbia County are already thinking back to school. News Watch Exchange's Andy Palumbo was at Orientation Day at Bloomsburg University, where new students were getting the lay of the land. These young people have been through this before. It's Orientation Day for transfer students at Bloomsburg University. They may not be new to college, but they are new to Bloomsburg. The university wants to make sure they know their way around and what to expect. Rebecca McElwee was a student at Penn State in Delaware County last semester. She transferred to Bloomsburg because she wanted to attend classes at a smaller school rather than continue her education at Penn State's main campus. I came up here and I really liked the campus and it was like really friendly and I, and I always heard good stuff about it. McElwee hasn't decided on a major but she has decided Bloomsburg is the place for her. Keith Hans is here for the opposite reason. Last semester, like coming college. This semester, Bloomsburg. He wanted to go to a bigger school. It's close, it's affordable, it's uh, great education. They're nationally recognized. Hans has a goal of becoming an investment banker. Because the students involved in this orientation are transfer students, they've been through this before. And they say it's easier the second time around. The university recognizes that the transfer student orientation isn't the same as the one for incoming freshmen. They're, you know, at a different level as far as, you know, in their line of thinking with college, they're, they're used to a college environment. McElwee doesn't really mind having to learn the ins and outs of a new campus again. I mean, I do feel silly because I did do this before, but it happens to the best of us. <laughs> and for all those incoming freshmen who will have to do this in the weeks to come, a little college advice from someone who's done it twice before. Study, study, study. Don't slack off because it's a lot harder than high school. Classes here begin August 27th. Andy Palumbo, Newswatch 16, Bloomsburg.